Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. End of time. Subscribe. Something that is very very important that I want to share with you. Something that is also at the same time very very interesting because we talk a lot about the end of time. We talk a lot about coming of the Jal. You know, a scary guy like him. We talk about the coming of the Mahdi, like horses like it, <laughs> uh, and many other topics. So the important thing that I want to mention to you today is very much related with all of this that you know we talk about in this channel about the coming of the Mahdi, the Jaliya, Jujan, Majuz, and whatnot. This hadith is talks about something that would subhanallah make someone show his piety, make someone that will that will show that how religious, how careful he is about his religion. Okay, this is a person who wants to just protect his faith and a time will come when you will see people are doing these things that are being mentioned in this hadith that I want to I want to mention to you in a second. Hadith is reported in Bukhari and this was narrated by Abu Sa'id al-Khudri so this hadith is a Sahih hadith reported in Bukhari and Rasulullah is talking about this individual okay this person okay this Muslim as you can see this uh, righteous pious Muslim so what he will do when time of fitan will strike, when time of fitan will be everywhere, when you will see that people are leaving their religion, when you will see people are not caring about their religion, what this person will do? Rasulullah he is talking about this person and not only that this person what he will do was mentioned but also said it, the hadith talks about how fast, how soon he will do. Okay, how soon it, this time will come. When Rasulullah he said, ghanamun." A time will soon come. Now, Yushiku basically means a time that will come very soon. Means it is about to happen. For example, Yushiku uh, Furat, that uh, the river of Euphrates will give up the gold, right? So, Yushiku here is used as a sign that these things are going to be happening and happening very, very soon. It is about to happen. So, Yushiku Ayakuna um, Khaira Malil Muslimi. Ghanamun, and then this person, the, the hadith talks about this person, the, uh, a time will soon come when this person's best wealth will be Ghanamun, will be a sheep. A person who can possess a lot of wealth, he is ditching everything for the sake of his religion, for the sake of Islam, because the fitan is so much. Rasulullah said that this person will give his best uh, property his best wealth will be a sheep and then the hadith goes on to say not only that this person has this sheep as his wealth but also he's taking this sheep to a, a mountain top in Shafa al Jibali this sheep will be taken on top of the mountain and then he said not only that he will take this uh, sheep on top of the mountain but Wama Waki al Qatri but he will also play go to the, the uh, place on top of the mountain where it will rain okay so more description so this mountain is this man is taking his ship in uh, in top of the mountain uh, to a place where it will rain why he is doing that yafir dini minal fitna he is doing is doing this all of these things taking ship uh, so that he will be protecting his deen minal fitani from the fitna that will take place so dear my sisters the hadith clearly indicates this is not a metaphorical, okay? This is not, this hadith is not talking in a metaphorical way. This hadith is talking about literal way. This will happen because the hadith, it describes, it mentions, it explains what the man will do. The question is, we see dear sisters right now around the world, you know, Muslim country, non-Muslim country, you talk about Saudi Arabia, you talk about UAE, you talk about any Muslim country or the non-Muslim countries. What are we seeing right now is that people are getting affected by the fitna. Fitna of social media every single day. The fitna of, let's say, movies. The fitna of women. The fitna of, I mean, you can, you can just go on and on. The number will never finish. In other words, the fitna that we are being afflicted with in today's time is limitless it's countless it's like too many way too many it's it's unbelievable is it the time for us to think about doing something similar to this man wallahi this is a time this is a time because you know, sisters today muslims you know we want to have a car today we want to have a beautiful wife today we want to have you know a great university education today we want to have so many things and these things are really in many cases affecting our deen so a time end of time will come and the end of time we're already living subhanallah 
when we should be making these decisions. Now, there is another hadith Rasulullah he mentioned, he was uh, with the Sahaba, okay, and he was asking them, this hadith is very, very important, he was asking them, Hal tarawna ma tara? Do you see what I see? Okay, the Prophet is asking, do you see what I see? The uh, Sahaba, they said, Qala la, no, we do not see. Then the Prophet he said, what, what he was saying, because Rasulullah could see the future, he could see things that we cannot. Then he said, Qala fa inni la aral fitana. He said, indeed I see fitan, you know, the tri tests, trials and tribulations falling on you. Taqaw khilala buyutukum kawakail qatar. I see that the fitan is falling on your rooftops like raindrops. Subhanallah. He said the fitna and at the end of time will be such that you will be amazed at the, by the number of it. If you take a look at the marriages, you know, the Muslim family, today how many uh, families, how many couples are still together? What is the divorce rate? What is the situation with the kids? If you talk about the relationship between a child and a, and, and, and a parent, in this uh, age and time, you'll see most of the time these people, uh, the child and the, the parents and the parents and the grandparents, they do not get along. And why it is? It is because of the hadith that is mentioned that you will have fitna, you know, trials, tribulations, falling on your rooftops. Every single household today, wallahi, I can guarantee you, every single household today, you will see that there is some problem, whether there is a problem with someone who is a you know, drug addict, someone who doesn't want to get married, someone who doesn't want to work, somebody who doesn't want to take care of their parents, or some parents, they want to force their kids to get married, you know, like, like this, this one, you know, she's uh, being forced to get married. The level of, the amount of tests and trials and tribulations, you cannot ever find. Wallahi, I can, I, can, I can tell you, even though this is not something we wanted, but I can promise you, if you go walk any, any, you know, household, ask them if they have any problem. 99.99% household will say, yes, we have a problem in the family. There is something going on that is uh, going to be uh, making our life very hard. You can say that, oh brother, I cannot go to the mountain. I cannot take my, you know, my ship to the mountain. I mean, I have responsibilities. I have, you know, this obligation, that obligation. What should I do? Dear my sister, the minimum that we can do in this time, the minimum, okay, the minimum, like I'm not asking you to do too much. The minimum we can do is that we should try to minimize our desires our ambitions, we should try to limit our social interaction, especially when it comes to so you know uh, socializing for the sake of money, for the uh, for the sake of show off, you know social status. When it comes to all of these things, what we can do at least is to minimize ourselves, is to kind of like uh, you know uh, can find everything that we have to ourselves and not look for something more and not look for something that is not going to benefit us in the hereafter forget about the haram you know it, when we see haram we should run away from it like the time is right now that we run away from it even with the halal we need to limit ourselves we need to say that enough is enough i'm not going to be you know going after the you know the, all the materialistic things i don't want to have too much uh, you know wealth if i have one car that is more than enough i do not want to have you know if i am married happily with one woman i should not be looking for more women in my life because unfortunately a lot of people they think beyond what they already have and they say you know they complain when they wake up in the morning they complain that i don't have enough so the hadith the, the going back to the first hadith rasulullah he mentioned few things that will happen uh, that the time will come very soon the end of time rasulullah said that Rasulullah said in Anahlis that the coming of the hour and my coming is very close, like the distance of these two fingers. And so when he said, Muslim, that the best of the ghanam, okay, the best of the wealth will be the ghanam or the ship, dear my sisters, it is right now. Right now it is happening. that a mob uh, un totally unprovoked came to this place and they were just violating uh, the Muslim rights. They were uh, asking and shouting and they were cursing the, the Muslims. They were uh, kicking them out from the precinct of the masjid, telling them to leave. And we have seen how this thing got 
uh, out of uh, control. And even sisters, uh, this is not something uh, happened just this Ramadan.